Hi, this is question 4D from the AQA Core 1 January 2012 exam paper. Um, in the previous video I went over question 4A, B and C, so this is just the final part of this question. Okay, um, for the first part of this video I'd like you to pause the video and try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and give it a go. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go. For the next part of the video, I'm just going to give you a hint um, and actually um, get you started a little bit with, with, with having a go at this question. So, um, we're told um, that we've got this um, curve again, um, which is um, shown in this sketch. And um, we're told that the curve passes through the point negative one zero and one four first part of this question we want to find um, and this is the definite integral because we're given limits so we want to find this definite integral um, that's given here so what you need to remember is when we're integrating f um, a polynomial that is um, we add one to the power and then we divide by that new power so it's the reverse of differentiating we add one to the power and then we divide by the new power. Okay, because this is a definite integral, once I've done that into my um, new function, I need to put in one, and then I put in negative one, and then I do the first result, subtract the second result. Okay, for part two, um, it says hence find the area of this shaded region here so what you want to think about is what we've um, what we've done so far is we found the area of all of this up to so starting with our um, lower limit which is negative 1 up to our upper limit which is in fact 1 which is just here so we found the area of all of that what we need to do is decide how we can um, just have the shaded area there so what do we need to do okay if you want to have a go at um, finishing this question um, off your, yourself if you'd like to pause the video now um, and shortly I'll go over the answer Okay, for the next part of the um, video, I'm going to go over the answer. Um, to this question, right? So, um, so first of all, we wanted to um, integrate this. Um, I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room to work in. So, um, so part one. I'm going to um, add 1 to the power and then divide by the new power so that's going to be x to the power of 6 over 6 take away and that's going to be add 1 to the power and then divide by the new power so that's going to be x cubed plus add one to the power so it's going to be x squared divided by 2 plus and that's going to be 5x okay so, so in 1 and negative 1 okay so that's going to be equal to and I'll start by putting 1 into this function so that's going to be 1 6 take away 1 plus a half plus 5 and we're going to take away the result of putting negative 1 into here so that's going to be um, negative 1 to the power of 6 is just 1 so that's going to be 1 6 again negative 1 to the power of 3 will be negative 1 but we're taking away that negative 1 so it'll be plus 1 um, negative 1 squared will be 1 so that's going to be a half 
and then that's going to be 5 times negative 1, that's going to be take away 5. Okay, and then um, just simplifying um, this up, we're going to have In fact, what I'll do is I'll change everything into sixths so we can see clearly what's going on. So that's going to be equal to one sixth take away six sixths plus, and that's going to be three sixths plus, and um, five whole ones is going to be thirty sixths take away. One sixth plus six six plus three six take away thirty six. So that's going to be equal to well, we've got um, one take away six is negative five plus three is negative two plus thirty is going to be twenty eight six. And this is going to be um, 1 plus 6 is 7, 10, minus 26. So we're taking away minus 26 because mm -hmm. that's going to be plus 26. And altogether that's going to be 48, 6, which works out to be 48, 6 is going to be uh, 8. And there you go. So. Um, the value of this integral here is going to be 8. Right, part 2. Okay, so for part 2 we want to find the area of the shaded region that's going to be bound um, by this curve and this line here. So we're looking for the area of this bit here. So remember, so far we've got that area including this triangle so what we need to do is we need to take this triangle um, away so we need to know what the area of this triangle is so the base of this triangle because that number there is one it's going to have a base of one and it's going to have a height of well the y coordinate here is four so it's going to have a height of four so remember the area of the triangle is going to be the base times by the height divided by 2 so it's going to be 1 times 4 divided by 2 which is going to give us 2 units squared so our shaded area is going to be equal to and it's going to be 8 which is all of this area take away 2 which gives us 6 Okay, so the shaded area is going to be 6 square units. Okay, thanks very much for um, joining me for that. Um, I hope you found that useful, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.